Yeah, hi. Um, this video, I want to demonstrate how to assemble the DIY Pro um, pre-soldered kit version 4.2. You can see this here on the PCB. So if you have a different version, then go on, on our website, the build instructions, and find the correct build instructions and video. So after you have unboxed, um, here are all the parts that you find in the kit, um, including the optional TVOC sensor that is an optional purchase in, in the shop, which is this blue module here. So what you have is the, the main board, um, which is already pre-assembled with the button, the USB-C plug, and the OLED display and some other components. Then we have the D1 Mini, the microcontroller. We have the sensor S8 CO2 sensor, the SHT um, temperature humidity sensor and the TVOC sensor that's optional, what I just mentioned. We have the PM sensor here and the cable for the PM sensor. We have screws for the um, PM sensor and the PCB and four screws for closing the enclosure. And it also comes with a screwdriver. I just want to quickly assemble it now and turn it on and then you see how easy it is actually to get this kit up and running. So we can start with putting the D1 Mini onto the PCB. So you take it here, you will see that the USB-C socket should be pointing inwards. You can see the, the line on the PCB as well as the button here. So make sure you 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 put it um, onto the PCB that all the pins line up and then just press it inside and that's it. Um, next we can actually put the SHT sensor on it and here the same thing you can see on the board the the rectangular where actually the temperature sensor is and just align the pins here and push it on it um, and then just click on it and that's it. So the next thing we assemble is the plant tower and the best thing is first if you put in the cable actually into the plant tower and you can see that the cable has two like tiny plastic knobs there and also on in inside the plug and on the PM sensor. So just line it up here like like this and then push it in just so it, it fits in just like that. Okay. And then you see the four screw holes here and on the PCB and then at the, the vent of the PM sensor has to go to the, to the outside. So you can actually turn it around um, take one of the PM screws and um, put it through the hole here. And then take the screwdriver and screw it on. And then look at the holes align. And then I had another screw here. And then to left. So now we have the R4 screw fixed, so we can turn it around again. And you can see here is the plug for the PM sensor. So you also like make sure you align it correctly. So we have these two small things that go right into the plug here. And then just press it on, and that's it. Okay. And then you can see the cable is just long enough to just go around these two pin sockets where we actually put the S8 sensor. You see there are like one side has four pin sockets, the other side has five. So you just align it correctly, just like this. Put it on here and then just press it in. That's it. Okay. Um, and then the last item is the optional TVOC sensor, which goes up here. And you see the, the pin headers are here and then they just plug it in like this. Okay. Um, that's actually all the assembly that needs to be done. Um, and now you can see um, there's a small tiny film on the screen. So you can actually peel this one off. Um, 
and then you have the enclosure here. So we just turn it around and you can see it aligns with the four holes and um, then you can screw the screws in here. So the screws on, on the other side are here and here, and they're a little bit more tricky to put in. So what you can do is like, just put them on your screwdriver like this, and then turn it around and feed it in like this. And then the last one, So now um, that you have it assembled and you can see that the display lines up nicely, so we can actually close the enclosure shots. So um, you have the, the part here and you just put it on top of here so that, that it aligns nicely, just like this. Um, and you see the USB C plug here. And then we have four screws left, which go into actually these lines here one, two, three, four. So we can just Drop the screws in. Um, and then we can use the one diagonal. Then this one. And the last screw we put in here. So now that's all, um, and um, your your Agradian Pro pre-soldered monitor is ready to use.